Hi, so today on Georgia Gold, we're going to be replacing the V-belt on a 4-inch uh, Keen dredge. This is the model with the T80 air compressor. So between the output shaft of the motor and the compressor, there are two V um, pulleys and a V-belt. And the last time we were dredging, we noticed we weren't getting any compressed air. So um, if you look at the belt itself, it's all chewed up. I think this is the first time we've ever replaced it. It's 18 years old, so it's not too surprising. So the first first thing you need to do to replace this belt is there's four bolts that hold the entire assembly up to the frame. So I'm gonna remove those bolts. Here's the uh, motor, pump, and T-compressor assembly. You can see where the, the four bolts I was talking about earlier. So we, re we had these three bolts we removed and we just put the whole assembly up on the truck bed so it's easier to work on. So now to take this cover off, there's two flathead bolts that we have to remove. So you can see the belt is pretty messed up and it's actually um, right side out. Instead, of, It's supposed to be like this when it's running, but it's, it's got upside down. Um, but it's pretty chewed up, so um, it appears that you have to take the pump apart or pump off but first got to take it apart to get to the um, belt so I'm going to proceed and take the pump apart to remove the pump impeller you have to turn the pump impeller counterclockwise so it, the shaft the drive shaft has to be held so what we did was we put a adjustable wrench and a screwdriver to hold it and then we we did this with two people, but now we got it loose. So I can do it with one you know one hand, and then the pump impeller comes off. Now we'll take the three uh, socket head cap screws off to get to the belt. So we had some trouble getting this piece off. I ended up buying a uh, cobalt drill bit, a little bit smaller than the diameter of the the screw, so the heads were stuck in the. It was actually the head stuck in here, so I drilled out the head and then, you know, took out these studs once the head was drilled out. We actually got one of them out um, with an Allen wrench, and the other two I had to drill. And then the heads themselves were stuck in here, so I had to buy another cobalt drill bit, and I drilled out the heads. Hard to see, but we, we had to fix this piece. So that's all been done, and... I went to AutoZone and I got some um, new belts. He didn't know which size, so I just got two, one a little longer than the other. We'll use the shorter one because we got, and this will be a spare. Um, we got some adjustment on the bottom, so I'm going to just take off or loosen these bolts on the bottom and ins install the belt. Alright, so I got the T80 air compressor loose and I'm just slide it. A little bit closer, and I'm going to assemble the belt. No, oh, I'm hitting on the fitting, so might have to use the longer belt. Let me see if I can get it on. Yeah, I got it. Okay, so now I'm going to try to push this out. And tighten it down. Mm -hmm. We got the belt on. Looks good. Nice and tight. Now we install the back half of the P180 water pump. So it's three five sixteenths. Um, I think twenty four volts. It was the fine thread, whatever the fine thread on 516s is. Flip the pump over. I need to hold the back. This side, I'm going to hold this side, and then I'm going to spin this on. Now, we just put this on my hand, so I'm assuming we just need to put a hand tight, but... I don't really know. 
but we had to hold this side and you know earlier in the video we held this side of the pump so it doesn't turn and then we we spun this piece off so yeah I got that pretty good okay well we had inadvertently lost the o-ring that goes on this part of the uh, p180 pump so we first went to advance auto parts and they didn't have anything over two inches so we went to Home Depot and the replacement o-ring uh, for a GE appliance fits perfect so we just got lucky and we didn't we don't have any more delays so we had to take this part off so I'm gonna put this back on hold the back of the pump Glad I noticed that, because that would have been very bad. We would have got to the river, and it would have leaked water everywhere, so. So now we're going to put the uh, cover on the ballot guard belt. Now we got the cover the belt on now I'm gonna put the pull cord on get this bad boy in So just to be clear, this is for the Honda 5.5 horsepower with the T80 air compressor and the P180 water pump. Uh, it's a pretty common setup. It's on the mini 4-inch dredge. You know, they still sell this today. So we replaced the belt, and um, really this video would be useful if you wanted to replace that seal too, because it's pretty much the same procedure. So I hope you uh, found this useful, and uh, please subscribe and leave your comments below.